So being scared of heights definitely doesn't help. But yeah, just make sure you stay on the bike. Whew, nothing hard to ride, but goodness gracious. I think this is towards the top of the climb. Hey guys, Levi here with another video. Today we're in Durango, Colorado riding the Animus Mountain. Just last week I was a couple of mountains over riding the Log Chutes downhill. This trail that we're riding today is a single black diamond. To my knowledge, the Log Chutes trail is a double black diamond. I know there are some ratings that are saying different things, but oh well. Uh, I'm again with Mondo today. It's just him and I that are doing this uh, trail. He once again proves that he's a significantly faster rider once again. This trail, um, on contrast to the Log Chutes trail, is just filled with rocks. There's not really a single moment where you can really just fly down the mountain. You kind of have to be worried about, I don't know, falling over and getting into the rocks. But uh, I'll probably jump back into the video just to drop some commentary to explain everything that's going on. And once again, GoPro effect is in full effect here. This trail is definitely a lot gnarlier than what the GoPro leads you to believe. But yeah, let's get back to the video. Oh. All right, let me get that shell shock out of the way real quick. Holy f my tire's good. That decreased pressure is a weird feeling, bro. Yeah. We don't go left? We do. I just... Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, and the rebound difference on the front fork is nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Colorado mountain biking. Oh, I get vertigo on high stuff. I apologize. Oh my gosh. This is where people like, <laughs> well, we're, that's, we're essentially going down that just, Bro, uh, parachute off of something like this. All right. That's all you, bud. Like that you're not, you're not so roping me into that kind of hobby. Um, yeah. Nope. Never. <laughs> That first section, those rocks in the way were uh, a little rowdy. Little rowdy. I'm trying to get really good at not touching my brakes in the corners. Are there two trails here? I think there are two trails here, I think we definitely have the one on the left. Double check. Wow. Yeah. So this is a blue trail, huh? Uh-huh. Alright, I'll see you at the bottom. I'm taking the blue. See you, buddy. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> I mean, it's interesting, I know. Not the line. Oh no, I didn't pop a tire right there. Damn, this shit is chunky. I don't think this is a high speed trail. I think it's a tech trail. And he's gone. I'll never see him again. Turn the bike. Goodness gracious, man. <laughs> Thank goodness that wasn't my toe. I almost took off my front toe on a rock.
Come on, do I hate you? Oh, goodness. Chunky. That is fun. Yeah, like, nothing's like too scary. Slowing down the rebound helps so much, dude. Yeah. And if you like, I would take the time to mess with it. Well, just on this rocky stuff on the rebounds, like. Hi guys. As you can see, me and Mondo are talking about our setup on our bikes. The only reason I even know about slowing down the rebound on my bike is because my local shop, Sandstone Cycles in Farmington, the owner, Chris, has been really good about helping me with the setup on my bike and what I need to be doing with these trails that I'm riding. So all kudos to him. If you're ever in the area in Farmington, New Mexico, definitely head down to Sandstone Cycles to check out the shops and uh, see what they have to offer. Um, going forward, you're gonna see us stop on the trail. My hands were getting really fatigued and I was complaining about, you know, just, my hands were done. I'm not used to going this fast through this uh, like chunky stuff, this really rocky stuff. So yeah, my hands definitely felt the brunt of the damage here and probably my bike is worse for wear after this trail. Once again, I prefer log shoots over this trail. Animus Mountain is worth the climb for sure. It's a 1400 climb, 1400 foot climb, whereas log shoots is a 1500 foot climb. The climb for Animus is more severe than what Log Shoots is. Log Shoots is really drawn out and it's a kind of a more enjoyable climb, whereas Animus it's really punchy and there's some sections that I was just forced to walk. Uh, but yeah, once again, worth the climb. I do plan on doing videos for my local area, not just Durango, Colorado, uh, just Farmington, Aztec, Bloomfield, Kirtland, all the trail systems that we have locally. It's just right now I'm more apt to, if I have a day off to go ride, I'm gonna drive up to Durango and see what they have to offer. The black diamonds that we have in Farmington versus the black diamonds they have in Durango, the Durango ones are just definitely more worth my day off than going and hitting the Farmington trail. Uh, I, I enjoy the trails in Farmington, this is just what I'm having more fun doing at the moment. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know if there's any trails in the local area that you want to see me hit or want to get a video on YouTube just to be able to reference, let me know. I'll go and send it. I'm, I'm down to hit pretty much anything. I'm not the craziest person on the trail, but yeah, I definitely want to discover some new trails out here. And once again, I'm still really new to this sport. Started in November, so whatever you guys can recommend to me, just let me know. And yeah, I'll go ride it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Yeah, my, sure, my hands are good. No. Uh.
Give me a second. All right, send it. We, there can't be much left, honestly. Like, we're, I feel like we're flying good. Hey guys. Up back there. Yeah, me too. A few times. Those uh, 